Signal-to-noise ratio, or SNR, is one popular method of defining radio receiver sensitivity, but another measurement that's often seen, especially for VHF and UHF FM communications radios, is called SINAD. In this video we'll look at what SINAD is, we'll investigate what a typical measurement means, and check out the way it's measured. And we'll also take a look at some of the standards associated with SINAD, and where they're used. SINAD stands for Signal to Noise and Distortion, so this specification is more than just a signal to noise ratio because it includes unwanted distortion products as well. Whilst noise is traditionally the main limitation for sensitivity, any distortion and other unwanted products will also limit the ability of the receiver to discern the wanted signals. As a result, SINAD is an important measurement because, as we said, it looks at a variety of signal degradation issues in one measurement. And although it's most widely used for VHF, UHF, FM, two-way radios, it can also be used for other analogue modes and frequencies as well. SINAD can be defined as the ratio of the total signal level, in other words, the signal together with the noise and distortion, to the noise and distortion level. This means that the higher the SINAD level, the better the quality of the audio signal. In terms of the formula, SINAD is expressed in decibels, and it's equal to the log to the base 10 of the level of the combined signal, noise and distortion, divided by the noise and distortion. It's worth noting that the signal levels are all measured as power and not as voltages. The setup for measuring the SINAD of a radio is relatively straightforward, and we can see it now. A signal modulated with a tone is applied to a receiver, and the output is connected to two audio level meters. One is connected directly to the output, and the other is connected via a notch filter, and this filters out the audio tone to give just the noise and distortion. In terms of the practicalities of making SINAD measurements, the tone used is typically a kilohertz. Also, the shape of the notch filter is very important. In an ideal world, it would be infinitely sharp and have no insertion loss, but this is not possible in the real world. To overcome this problem, ETSI, the European Telecommunications Standards Institute, defined a notch filter with a kilohertz notch, attenuating the tone by at least 40 dBs and having specifications for the insertion loss at various frequencies. The modulation level is important, and ETSI specifies that for FM, a deviation level equal to 12.5% of the channel spacing should be used. In this way, there is commonality across radios from different manufacturers. Another point to note is that the output from the radio must be measured in terms of power, because different waveforms, including noise, will have different shapes. Using power levels removes the variability between the different waveform types. Note, it must be real power levels, not a voltage measurement with a form factor correction, as the form factor may not give a good conversion to real power for the variety of different waveform shapes encountered. The format for the SINAD specifications is normally given as a certain signal input voltage to the radio that's needed to achieve a certain value of SINAD. In fact, 12 dB SINAD is the normal ratio that's used. For example, a typical specification may have the following format. A receiver sensitivity might be 0.2 microvolts for 12 dB SINAD at VHF, and at UHF it might be slightly less sensitive, requiring 0.3 microvolts for a 12 dB SINAD figure. Although SINAD is primarily used to quantify the sensitivity of a radio, it can also be used to give an indication of the performance in terms of adjacent channel rejection and also the radio's blocking performance, where strong off-channel signals may cause a reduction in sensitivity. The measurements are made by effectively looking at the degradation of SINAD in the presence of these signals. SINAD is widely used for quantifying the sensitivity performance of radios, and in particular those used for VHF or UHF FM. So if you're looking at a VHF or UHF FM radio receiver or transceiver, then it's highly likely that you'll see SINAD used for the sensitivity specification. If you want to find out more, head over to the description area of the video for more information and links, 
and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video.